Hey friends, good morning, welcome back. This is the perfect time to thrive community. And we did this, the Mastermind Friday. A little Fridays. Especially sharing ideas, getting more and more information. <clears throat> Last week I started a series about well-being. And this is the second part. Before we start, let me ask you something. Have you ever ever felt in your life that you need more balance, a higher level of balance? You want to live a quality life? I hope the answer is yes. Same thing with me. We are in the same shoes. What is well-being? Last week we clarified the description of well-being from, uh, from different perspectives. For today, I'd like to talk about five pillars of well-being. There is a study from Gallup uh, Institute, and they, they carried over. They researched in different societies, in more than 150 countries, what people think, experience, and wish from well-being, what it means, what are the pillars, okay? Let's see what they found out. These elements are universal, interconnected, and can shape our lives. Let's see the first one. Physical, emotional, and mental well-being. That's a nice combination. Physical, mental, and emotional well-being. We can treat ourselves, ourselves well, right? We can eat right, we can drink enough water, we can rest enough, we can do exercises, use supplements, we can meditate, we can have a nice surrender of surrounding of uh, good people, we can study, we can maintain our balance. <clears throat> That's kind of obvious. I don't mean that everybody has it, but it's kind of obvious. That's the first part. Let's see the second part. The second part is financial well-being. Isn't it great, <clears throat> sorry, isn't it great to have balance in our finances. Well, we live uh, in the quick changing material kind of world. There are much more important things than money. But money in this world is crucial. You must have it. Maybe it doesn't make you happy. That's not a good feeling not to have enough. Okay? So financial well-being is crucial. It's not only money. It's balance. It's well-being. Abundance. When you have enough for your needs, your family needs, you can help others in your community. It's a nice thing. That's the second part. The third part is career well-being. What does it mean? If you look back your life, I bet there were some points that you start some you started something, career, and you try to take next step and the next step and the next step, and somewhere, somewhere, you got stuck. Happened to me. For example, uh, I was a sales manager. I loved that job, really did, really did. It was a great job. So I climbed up the ladder and I reached a certain level, that was it. Above there was the owner. Of course, I wasn't the owner, so I couldn't take that step. So I stopped. 
which means it was scarcity on that level. That's why I became a private entrepreneur. I like abundance in my career also. I bet you had a situation like that. Maybe not the same one, but the similar one. Okay? The next one is social well-being. The kind of social connections, communic communication connections, what you have. That's why I love social media. I can be friend as, with as many friends as I just found. No limits. No limits. Yeah, I know not everybody is on social media. I know that. But what an expense we got with social media. What an opportunity we got. Okay? The number five, that's community well-being. This is that task, this is that role what you have with your community. I've talked about your family, your friends, the neighbors, your colleagues, your entrepreneur fellows, your city, your village, your surroundings, your nation, your country, the world itself. If you have well being within your communities, that's a great feeling. That's, a great feeling. that's why you call it well being. Five very crucial elementary pillars of well being. Let me repeat them again financial, social, and emotional well being. Number two, financial well being. Number three, career well being. Number four, social well being. Number five, community well being. If you look at your, your life, your past, your present, your future, please examine it by the point of view of these five pillars. You can test your well-being level. There must be more elements, but these fives, these five elements, they're very vital. I wish you a well-being life, really, really do. I truly believe that we all need abundance in our lives. And well-being is a good step for that. Have a nice weekend. Come back next week, we will continue on this.